Viterbo University begins its annual science symposium this week. This year's topic, what's in our drinking water? This evening, Viterbo welcomes Erin Brockovich, the advocate and activist whose own story was made famous in the 2000 film. News 19's Roger Staffaroni had the opportunity to talk with her one-on-one -on -one this afternoon. So Roger, Erin um, Brockovich's name, same as the film, but you know her career kept going. Uh, yes, it's never stopped. Uh, her efforts are now letting people know that clean water issues are everyone's issues and that everyone can make a difference when it comes to making things right. In the town of Campbell, it's the ongoing PFAS issue, the forever chemical. Brockovich says you don't have to be a scientist or know all the official names of the chemicals. She says the community is the front line and their actions begin the needed change. So ask questions, observation, and if you think there's something wrong, make a phone call to your municipality. Call your local agencies. And I'll tell you one thing that's really effective that most of us don't do show up to your own city council meetings. It's amazing if you go down there, they're just talking to themselves because we don't show up. It's been almost 30 years since Brockovich's famous work in the Hinckley, California case. Her passion for being an advocate, just as strong today. Heather, tonight at six, Erin talks about what made her decide to stand up and become an advocate. All right, thanks, Roger. Tonight's event starts at 7 p.m. at the Viterbo Fine Arts Center in their main theater. You can also stream it online on the Viterbo Ethics Facebook page.